So I figured it'd be awesome to talk about the reality of being a business owner, a small business owner. The reality is I run everything. I run everything in my business and I'm always trying to find ways to save time. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys a very simple way that you guys can capitalize on a free product to streamline your business. So what's this special thing that I'm talking about? Well, this is Adobe Spark. Adobe Spark is a way to create graphics simply. It uses algorithms to create graphics for you so you don't have to spend hours creating content. I'm gonna show you guys how fast that is. So head over to spark.adobe.com so we can start this process. Adobe Spark is a platform designed to make content creation much faster for those of you that are interested in creating graphics, web pages, or video. Adobe's artificial intelligence analyzes what you're trying to create and cuts down on the time that it takes to create those designs for you. So if you're creating marketing graphics for Facebook or Instagram, or let's say you're sending out mailers to clients, this is an invaluable tool to save you hours of time. I use this personally to create mood boards or to send out editorials to magazines that I'm trying to pitch. It's cut down my work from hours to literally seconds. Also, the best part is that it's absolutely free. So once you're at the homepage, head over to graphics and you'll be linked to the main page where I am now. From here, you can see all the templates and graphics that I've created. And if this is your first time using Spark Post, you'll find yours probably empty. And that's okay, we're gonna change that in a few seconds. Head over to the add button. Here you'll be provided with a list of popular posts other creators are using Spark to create. What we wanna to create today is a Facebook post that you can use to market your business. And it's already available below, so we're gonna click there. Now I'm at the main page, ready to create my first Facebook post using Adobe Spark. So my goal here is to create a post that markets a new product or service that I'm offering. In this case, that's a new album line. To do that, select the copy that you'd like to edit. I'll change Wonderlust to read, hold on to your memories. And I'll change the bottom text to read with our new albums. Next, I wanna change the background image to something that matches the theme of the post. I can do that by selecting the image and clicking on the replace option. I'll be given the option to select a free photograph or by pressing back, I can also have the option to add photos via an upload using Adobe Stock, photos that I may have created or saved in Adobe Creative Cloud, or by using Lightroom or Dropbox. For this specific demo, I'm gonna be using Find Free Photos for time's sake. I'm gonna search for a couple and select something appropriate. Now you notice my copy is slightly off, and that's okay. I did that for a reason. I'm not 100% sure if this layout is the one that I'm happy with, and I don't want to finalize it until I'm happy with something that suits my specific needs. Here's how fast it is to preview some new designs. Click on the workspace just off the image that you're working on, head over to the Design tab. Here you have an assortment of layout templates that you can start with to create your first post. Here you're given an assortment of layout templates that you can use to start to create your first post. Now to be clear, I'm not looking at color. I'm solely focused on the actual layout that I'm happy with. We'll get to colors momentarily. Once I find a layout that I'm happy with, I can select it. In this case, the headline and byline are switched, so we'll switch them around. And now we're ready to select a color palette for our design. Head over to the Colors tab. Here, you'll have an assortment of colors that you can choose from to complement your post. And that's it, you've built your first layout for your first design. One really cool last tip. If you select the text and head over to the Style tab, you can use the rotating wheel to find text and color suggestions that will help you quickly navigate to those that you may want. So there's a ton of other cool tools built within Adobe Spark. We'll cover those at a later date, but for now, to save the file that you're working on, head over to the top toolbar and press download. You're left with a JPEG of everything you created to share with the world. I hope that you guys found the value in using Adobe Spark to create content faster so that you can spend more time where it really matters. I hope you guys have an amazing day.